Now you could say that this golf club changed my life forever, sort of. Let's do it, and let's do it now. Quality golf, this. This is what the fans come for. Quality golf. I don't think I've ever seen you as fired up. <laughs> Hi everyone, James Robinson here. Guys, first things first, I'd like to warmly welcome you all back to the channel. And I'd like to briskly welcome you back to a windy and cold Huddersfield golf club early in the morning. I also feel like you're enjoying that way too much, Chris. Hey, it's already someone out. <laughs> early bird catching the worm. Oh, wow. So, Christopher, how are we? Very good, yourself? Very good, Chris, so we welcome... Oh, look at this, off-roading now as well. You're enjoying that, aren't you? Oh, aye. So, we welcome you all back, guys, to another episode of TGCI Friday. I always call it Golf Catcher Fridays. Yeah, be easy. Yeah. Be easier. So, huge thanks to the guys at Golf Catcher for sponsoring this series. We are playing some golf courses that generally mean a lot to us. So, we started at Wortley, we've got a few others coming up. Yeah. James has won up in the series as well. Today, we're at Huddersfield Golf Club. I can't got that in there. Yeah, I know. It's depressing, really. It is depressing, isn't it? Today we're at Huddersfield Golf Club. This is where I've worked for about five years now. So I used to work for Alex in the shop, and then the kind of YouTube stuff took over a little bit. Still teach here and absolutely love coming up here. What a golf course it is. It's very difficult. I think that's a fair word. Is it difficult? It is. It's always windy. Always windy. Look, I should stop that near the tee as well. Oh. So, course layout you'll see here. So, today we're treating you to some of our favourite holes on the course. Guys, get in the comments below. He's on the hockey already. So, Chris, what's your excuse for today? We're going to have an excuse for every, every episode of this series. It's cold this morning. I was expecting warm weather to yeah, loosen you're not, the bounds. Uh, you're not on your own there, mate, to be fair. So my excuse is that I'm still a little bit injured, but also I was tearing a kitchen out yesterday. So if I lose, at least the kitchen's out. You're not blaming your double bacon Was it double bacon? McMuffin. Um, no, that's, that's fired me up, actually. Oh, is it? Right, yep. fair enough. Right, I'll let you have the honour, Chris. Oh. How often have, uh, have you played here? I reckon I've played here three times. No, you've played more than that. No, I never really played it all. Played it all once or twice, maybe. Max. In fairness, we very rarely play 18 holes, do we? No. Anywhere. It's because the double bacon and egg McMuffin slows you down. It does. Right, provisional thought. <laughs> Oh, well, if that's anything to go by. <laughs> well, that's the best drive I've hit in ages, that. Oh, it's a bullet. I'm a little bit worried now. That's massive into the wind, it isn't is it? It is as well. And that actually came out of the middle. Hmm. What a shot. I only had Ash Browns. I was going to say. If I had a coffee, actually. <clears throat> Still playing for the duck, yeah? Yeah, shredded. Well, that's a slinger, that'll work. Middle of the fairway. Well, oh, it's that. top quality golf. We'll have that. That hurt me a lot. <laughs> it looked like it and all. Did it? Well, I felt that one on the old knee, Chris, that might be. Excuses out already. Mm, yeah, um, that's the first time it's actually hurt for a while, so that's quite worrying. But guys, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button below. Welcome back to the channel if you're not new here. And if you haven't Ooh. done so already, make sure you ring that notification bell. Also check out Chris Dennis Golf Ooh. for any of your short game needs, because you do fire them up, Chris, don't you? I get them fired up, get the people going. Get the people going. And also in this series, guys, we want to come and play your golf course, potentially with you. So get in the comments below and give the video a like as well to boost it to people. And we're going to see just what your golf course is like, why they mean so much to you. So the story behind here is I moved from Tankersley Golf Club about five years ago just to try and enhance my teaching career a little bit, get out of the shop a little bit more. And it's safe to say that I've done that. And I will say as well, I wouldn't have done that without the help of Alex Keithley, the pro here at Huddersfield. She has a work ethic of... What has a big work ethic? Like him. <laughs> God. <laughs> God, you were 
Uh, I, I don't really know what, what, what's got a good work ethic. Uh, I think it's too early for this, so all we say is she's got the highest, the best work ethic I've ever seen. So Alice, if you're watching this, I don't think she even watches to be fair, but if you are watching, yeah. thank you ever so much. Right. Um, playing tough today, this, isn't it? That's got a great work ethic. Now right, so tee shots as they go. Chris, that's unbelievable down there. I know, I've never been that far down. I must say, even when the pros come on the tours that they play oh, on. Oh, the 2020. They don't get that far down, Chris. Yeah. Have it three wood to here, so right. Right, Chris, I'm going to hit a little eight. We're about... I'm going to hit a big seven. <laughs> We're about 170 yeah. yards, but I'm going to get... I say, who are you kidding? <clears throat> you just said your knees twinge and you're trying to wallop yeah. an eight. <laughs> yeah. Right. Just up that right side. Let it feed to yeah. the hole. Feed off the lie. Mm. Sit. Right. Oh, oh. See that jump? Big bounce. Big bounce. Not ideal. Mm. I don't know why I keep walking around. I can. Ooh. That certainly wasn't ideal. Um, not a difficult shot to be fair as well. All you have to do is send it up the right side and that took the world's biggest bounce left. Luckily there was no one on the next tee. Right. Right, Chris, one of, I think, the hardest opening holes in the area. I'll not say the country, but oh, in the area. Oh, I've made it look easy. Well, you have. I'm, uh, I'm down there struggling. Right, soft nine iron. We've got 130, so chippy one. Chippy tea? Chippy T, get it running down the right. Might have Chippy T tonight. Oh, that's delightful. I had Chippy T last night, funnily enough, at the pub. Ooh. Oh, this could be this could go in this if it's got some pace. Oh, he's played the contours, too much spin. Very good. Mmm. Mmm. I've never played it that well. <laughs> no. Put three put from there though. Yeah, that's true. Right, let's go find yours. We might as well go with it. Yeah. Right, Chris, we found it, and luckily there's no one on, or there was no one on this tee, because that would have took the shins out, wouldn't it? Well, there was, but you didn't shout for. No, no they, they were on the fairway. No wonder they yeah. gave us that look. Do you want to take the camera up there? I'm going to, I'm yeah. going to treat them to a 60 degree high tariff wonder shot. For a change? For a change. Been going well then, actually. What, your 60s? Yeah. Well, I'm miles away. I thought he'd hit that. Here he is. Oh. Not bad. Twelve Just needed, needed to sit, didn't it? Twelve feet, took a big bounce. What's I'd say so, yeah. Not bad for the sixty. I'm quite happy with that, you know. So, guys, rate Chris's camera work there. How did he do? There's a lot of good zooming. I can see him rolling this in. It's further than what I thought that. I thought you were closer. He did look a lot closer, didn't he? Come down here to A, get a better camera angle, but B, try and put you off a little bit. It looked as close as yours, but it wasn't. Oh. That line ran wonderfully. I'm going to see that, actually. A little bit left. Not got the pace. Ooh, what a wonderful image that is, you know, with the flag and the... Rosidendrums. Is that what they are? Rosidendrums. But in fairness, Chris, it wouldn't be at Golf Catcher Friday without a good bogey on the first, would it? No, that's just very true. It's just delightful, isn't it? That was a cracking it's up and down. just delightful. There. A lot of people commented on my what's in the bag today asking why I've put this back in and that's exactly why. Get in! Wonderful. You'd think we knew what we were doing here, Chris, wouldn't you? Oh, it's nice. It, what, didn't miss half a bogeys last time? Yeah, so that's oh, improvement. we've turned a corner. We've turned a corner. Now I'm going to say there as well, not often does everybody in the party par that first hole. That's not an easy hole, especially for people like us this early when it's this windy. <laughs> right, level. So Chris, the joiners on the eighth hole, which is my favourite hole on the golf course. A little par three, but by no means an easy par three. Mm. And we're going to play the seventh after this. The reason being, we've come up here to go up there, and we don't want to go up there to come down, to go up to come down, because we're then going over that way. See. See. Right, I'm going to let you keep the honour, Chris. Right then, one. up there. 
Well, I think nine iron. Yeah. But it's into the sea. Well, the wind's off the left. It's certainly not it? into the sea breeze. Nine iron, we're saying. Yeah, about 140, I think, this one. Uphill. We'll let these cars feather pass. Morning. Morning. Oh, we didn't even look at it. He us. didn't, did he? What a happy haddock. Christian gave us a nice wave, though. Yeah, at least someone did. Jesus. Hold your line. This could be bunker bound, Christopher. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. I don't know what happened there. But... In fairness, what you've done there is leave yourself plenty of room to work with. I like it. Correct. Not my finest strike. No, I was going to say that. Right. Not after the first one. Holding one flag. This, if ever I've seen one. It's good if it's there. Oh, Ooh, she's there. Just snuck out. Come back over. down. Oh, wonderful. Could be close. So, funny we should be playing this hole on this day, because on this day, not last year, because I think on this day last year we were all in lockdown, but on this day, can you believe that? No. But on this day a couple of years ago, I did a Beat the Pro at the Bowcliffe Golf Day on here. And the first shot I faced was a hole in one. It was a difficult flag as well, so fair to say I didn't beat that. Um, I think I've got a picture from that day somewhere, so I'll pop it on screen now. But I'm actually doing that day again this afternoon. So hopefully, first of all, my knee's okay for nine good strong, no, I think it will be, good strong nine irons. And hopefully today I can get a hole in one instead of, I think it was called Ed. Good old Ed. Good old Ed, yeah. Good old Ed. Oh, we have a chance at a birdie there, Chris. Every chance. Every chance. Good. Although, I say your chances of chipping in are very similar to mine holding that putt. Well, I like your optimism. Me too. Just trying to G you up. Oh, I right. found the gap. Bump and run through the gap. You know it. Who would have thought 9999 to a par three? Are you actually playing that? Yeah. Oh, he's played that so well. Oh! Great effort. Boys are here. Oh, hell. Right. Fair to say that's not being cut this morning. Oh, oh, it's just delightful. It's quality golf, this. This is what the fans come for. Quality golf. I don't think I've ever seen you as fired up. <laughs> <laughs> Crispy duck, get in. Oh. So, guys, you can see Gaz driving in. Gary Martin Golf. On time, I think, today as well. He's on time, is Gaz, I think. Time, is it? Oh, he's early. Oh. 20 minutes early, Gaz. Bloody hell. So, speaking of Gaz, Gaz actually took my place in the pro shop once I went full-time YouTuber. I hate saying that, but um, he took that on and we've been working together for a while. He's loving it up here, I think. I think, speaking for you, Gaz, but I'm pretty sure he's enjoying it. Good membership, good lessons. What more does he want? Right, seventh hole, onwards. All square. Oh. So you now join us on the amphitheatre that is the seventh tee. Amphitheatre of what, Chris? Rosedendrums. Oh, wonderful, right. I'm gonna chip a two iron down here. So if the eighth hole's my favorite hole, this is my favorite par four. Oh, I don't like this hole. Why? Because my ball seems to find the uh, practice field. No, it's a wonderful hole. Take it tight to those bunkers and you're, you're away. Right, oh, tee looks nicely mown. What have you got? Well, five. Five, I Keep it in play. Just a little one down there. Oh, that's perfect. Are you getting attacked by flies? Yeah. Is it me or has it just been a video of worldly up and down so far? So far, so good. Oh, a couple of fairways in reg. 
Hopefully a couple of greens. Sit. Might be blocked out that, you know. Oh, hopefully. Right, so again, two good tee shots, and that seems to be, well, the story of the video so far. There's a couple of good tee shots off the first, and then I'm going to say a worldly up and down from me, and the same from you. Isn't yeah. it funny how often it comes down to short game and putting? Coming over to the channel, Chris Dennis Golf, <laughs> tipping and putting. Uh, what about, uh, mine was a high tariff flop shot, which, to be fair, if didn't come off, would probably have not been amazing. Well, true. Um, but anyway, but I do think that this golf course is... Um, it bows itself well to having a good short game is what I'll say to that, I think. Easy to miss greens. E yeah, and then they're kind of quite undulating as well, mm. so you need to kind of have a bit of imagination. Me in the middle of the fairway, which I'm quite happy about, I thought that might have run out a little bit, and Chris has... Um, missed the fairway. Missed the fairway, that's a shocking live view, isn't it? Oof. Not what you need. Not what you want, Chris. So I'll bring you the bag. Ah, thank you. Look at this. Do you wish you had one of these when you carried on tour? Yeah, it'd have been a lot easier. Oh, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> You're a p***ing you one got you. Right, what have we got? No. No. Wedge. I ain't got one, so I'll chip a nine. Oh, changing. Oh. Why are we level? Level. Level and level. Scoring and match. Which is a rarity, really. Oh. Right. Oh, watch this shot. Get left. Yeah, just front edge, that's decent, Chris. Stay yeah. there? Yeah. Did you right from that You're line. not going to hit a nine, are you? That's the issue. No, it might fly. That is your issue there. Well done. I might even... No, I was going to range finder it, but... It's a wedge. It's a wedge, isn't it? Smooth, silky Land wedge. it front edge, flags at the back. It's quite a difficult flag to get at this. Oh, drawing her in. Oh, watch this shot. Go. Same as me. It's took the world's softest bounce, that, hasn't it? It did. It landed into that slope. Well, put off. You know what? I didn't want that back in the air as well. I thought it was going to trundle up to be close. Trundle? Trundle, like Martin Brundle. Right, Chris. Well, I think we just kind of caught these up slopes, and that's killed them, because yeah. usually... I like to think that they would be quite good. Now, these, these aren't Do they usually easy. trundle down? It would trundle down, oh, mate. Right. Yeah, these aren't easy chips. No. Well, you, you could put yours. Uh, no, I'm going to chip it. I might even get a lob wedge out just for you. Oh. Just for you and just for the fans, as you like to say. For the fans? The fans. I am going to go... Fiddy. Horrible kind of ridge that that flags on, isn't it, to attack? Hmm, got to get it just right here. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, sit. Sit, that's okay. Oh, it ran on. It trundled. It, it did trundle when I didn't want it to trundle. Yeah, it, it's been going well for me so far. So, you guessed it, Chris. 60. 60 all day. Nowhere near. Now, my main focus here is just to get within Chris's 50 with my 60, because that is still an ongoing argument. <laughs> And that is delightful. Come on! I think I might just bin the other ones, to be fair, and just use that one. Somebody closer, Chris, there. Well, you got lucky. All right. Right, what we got here? Well, that's not an easy lie either, is it? Now on See the... if we continue the worldly up and downs. On the fringe. Ooh. Oh, thought it had come back. Is that good? Yeah, I'm going to give you that, mate. Yeah. Oh, the generosity. Well, I've slipped to one over. This is the chance, isn't it? The If chance. ever you had a chance of six feet, seven feet? I think no chance, but I'd say six. Outside left, bit of turn on it. Nice and firm. Yeah. Scotty stays in the bag. Thanks for coming. Get in! Depressing. 
Are you impressed with my short game? Uh, the I feel like you should be proud. Putting's very good. Chipping's still a bit dubious. Oh, that was more luck than judgment. All oh, right, yeah. In all seriousness, I played a shot of West Lancs the other day, and I did put it on my video the other day. I'm going to put it on again today because I enjoyed it that much. Wonderful. Right. Two holes left. Another amphitheatre, sort of, and of rose, what? Rosidendrums. Rosidendrums, wonderful flowers. How do you feel being one down? I'm a bit devastated, to be yeah, honest. So we're on now the 17th hole. Great par three. That sky's not looking very nice to us. No. I'm going to let you keep the honour, mate, because I'm going to sort the cameras out. What you got? I've got five. Is yeah, it? I'm going to chip a five, I think, oh, as well. Yeah. Six or uh, seven or five. I've got a chippy five. I think I'll be having a chippy tea in sunny Scarborough. Oh, the cross really, isn't it? The wind. Soft fade. Keep coming in. Fade. Ooh. Oh, what a bounce. The bunker. That was coming around nicely. Yeah, it was. It, it was trying, wasn't it? Uh. Oh, the bunker off. Sit. Oh, oh she's in Le Bunker. Next to me. Social. Social. So, so far, 0% greens in reg, but 100% up and down ratio. Yeah, that is true. Isn't? And most fairways, I think it's fair to say. Um, but that's golf, and that's something which we can see the weather changing here. And up at Fixby, you do get that. You do get kind of, you can set off and it'd be really sunny, not a breath of wind, and then you finish in the snow. Because yeah. I think we are one of the highest altitude courses. Oof. I, I, I should know the start. What a fact. We're not far away from the highest road in England, the M62, so there you go. Oh, you're just hitting <laughs> us with those facts. It's not really a fact, it's more like a sort of vague fact. Oh. But we'll keep it that way, because then you're never wrong, are you? No. Right, two bunker shots, I think. That is about as social as it gets, I think, Chris. Mm, which one are you having? Uh, I'm going to have this nearest one. And we're still yeah. placing in bunkers, because there's no rakes. No rakes. again. It's red hot, this, today. Right. I can't believe how windy it is now. No, it's unreal. So you want to play this on the left side, Chris, don't you, ideally? Play for the slope. You we're no glove on, then. Oof. Amateur hour. <laughs> Oh, it's what? Oh, just that killed it. Did that have on just it. killed it. I wouldn't say spin, I'd say the bank did that. Spin. Oh, Chris. Too much spin on that one. <laughs> Advantage with Chris to get back to level with one to go. Oh. Always close matches these golf catcher Fridays, aren't they? So far, so far, so. Where do good. we go next, Chris? Is the question. Oh, get in the comments. Where do we go? Two good shots there, really, because that could quite easily have been difficult. Downwind. Yeah. Out of the bunker. Right. Put off. Strong enough. Oh, had to stop at one point, didn't Ooh. it? Oh, oh, is it up? Oh, it burnt the edge. I can taste the aromatic duck now. Good. Yeah, that's a half in it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, all to the last. Can't Poison sauce, down. fried rice. Oh, I might even get a. At least you got the sauce right this week. Yeah, I might even get a red wine with it actually. Oh, a tinto divino. Maybe a little malbec or something. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Wine's rubbish. So, one up with one to play, and we're not going to count our chickens just yet, because literally anything could happen on this 18th hole par 5. Great hole, stroke index 18, if we can get it over the ridge, which we're into the wind, so it's not going to be any easy task today. I'm going to hit three because my knee's still not feeling amazing. So 
a line left of that actual thing. Yeah, especially today with that wind. Oh, right. A little bit of sledging. Oh, take your pee. Ooh, you teed that low, haven't you? Teed it low, watch it go. I don't think it's that low. Well, maybe it is. Right, nice and easy. Cut in. Around the wind a bit. Should be down the right side. Yeah, I don't it? know if it'll be over the ridge, but it should be okay. On the ridge. Ooh, that'll do you. Yeah. Little Damien up there. Little top spin lobber. What I didn't mind about that is it didn't hurt. <laughs> so I'll take it. It's always a bonus. Yep. Amazing how often we. I used to play Winter League here, so when I worked in the pro shop, every Sunday you'd play a Winter League match against the members. And so often it'd come down to this hole, even if it was on a winter temporary green. I eagled it a few times, Chris. Oh, those oh. were the days. Those were the days. Not likely today. No. 32 waste I was then as well. Just saying. You are 30. 32 I was waste. Oh, you now. 34. One of the wonderful sights that you see when you come over this brow of the hill is the clubhouse on the 18th. There used to be big rhododendrons around there, but now you can see the clubhouse. And the clubhouse actually changes colour through the seasons. It goes from red to green. It's obviously stonework when the leaves fall off or the ivy falls off or whatever, but it is rather nice. Right, Chris is raring to go down there to get back to level. Where am I? Oh, I caught up here. Oh. Snagged. Snagged. This is one where this it's like almost like a ski slope this, isn't it? Mm. If this stays a, a metre to the right, very European, weren't it? That metre. Yeah, I don't know why you've gone for that. But uh, we'll two, go with it. two yards to the right, it's probably down 50 yards further. But I'm just going to lay up here. I was say, a tricky shot over Libon Kier. Yeah, I'm just going to lay up. There's nothing for a hero here, Chris, is there? No. I think a five gets me the match. Doubtful. Oh, trolley's trying to go. Is it? It's got a mind of its own. What have you got? I've got a little five. I'm just going to try and chip it kind of here right at that bunker. Ooh. Might go too far and get blocked behind the tree. Oh, it's... Oh, oh it needs to simmer. Oh, it did. Bum and egg. That rough stopped it, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, the fairway would have been ideal. <laughs> but... Yes, Chris, the plan was to keep it in the fairway. Well, I'm glad you see it. But, you've got but in all, fairness, all the there, you've got, what, 50 yards for an up and down for a birdie. Yeah. You're going to chip it within 20 feet, aren't you? Well, we'd like to Give yourself so. a chance. Even with a 60. Mm, if the tree's in the way, it won't be 60, though. Oh, right. Oh, there I am. Steady down That's hill. a big hit, isn't it? Well, it's well, not really. It's probably top spinned from the top, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's caught this kind of ridge and gone all the way I'd down. like to say it's a big hit, but it's more the slope than yeah. me. Not lying amazing. It's a fly a lie. We've got 175, but downhill, so I'm saying 160. A little bit helping, off the left. Nine iron. Nine iron, hope for a flyer. Or play for the flyer, even. Oh, how good is this going to be? This is upsetting. Oh. Oh, it's short. Oh. It just went like that. Yeah. Well, chipping a putt. You've not had your Weetabix this morning, Christopher. Chipping a putt gets me the match. Maybe a chip and two putts gets me We're doing either match so I can't lose, can I? Well, it gets me the hoyo. Now, one thing I really enjoy about these matches is they always kind of go to the end. They always go, um, well, yeah, last one went to the end which was the first video, and this one's gone to the end, which is the second video. So effectively, they all go to the end. I've got no idea. I might even put that in. I probably will, but... <laughs> they all go to the end, Chris, don't they? I've heard. They all go to the end. They all go well. <laughs> Do you, are you enjoying the series? No, because I've lost. Well, I've lost the first one. I haven't lost this. This you is can't win. The, you can't win this. Well, I know, but the next few weeks we'll be on courses where I played a lot, so... Yeah, if it, yeah fair shout. In, in fairness, corner. if I didn't win at least one of these, there'd be questions raised, I think. They would. So, actually, a lot closer than what I initially planned to be. Mm. But I'm not too dissatisfied with that if I don't run over it. Is it blocked go. out? Pardon? Is it blocked no, out? No, it's not, actually. Oh, 60. You know it. I mean, the shot is 60 here all day. 
all day. Oh, that hurt. But I'm going to shut the face, Chris, and play a kind of little low 60. I've heard it all. Hmm. That was maybe uh, one too far, I think. I haven't seen him pace a chip out for years. We got carried away with ourselves. Just got carried away, Chris. Me? Why? With that shot. I, I literally, I was on autopilot because I've been chipping that well. 60, failed again. Well, not again, it's failed for the first time today. Failed again. Oh, keep going. Oh. Keep, it's a great shot, but there's oh. every chance you're not making that. Let's give it over. <laughs> Don't fail me now. Do feel very disappointed with oneself there. Well, I would, yeah. Since the wind great... actually knocked it out of the air. Oh. What, from 40 yards? Yeah. Did you see it go over? There must have been a hurricane. Did your chip go right to left? Uh, I, well, I thought it was, but then it, it moved right at the end. So somewhere in between then, maybe go straight. Ah, oh, what a travesty. Don't like to see that. Mi amigo. I can't believe that. Well, Don Pedro. I'll give you that. Did you think that was it? Tell you what, it's a busy morning at Fixby Golf Club, yeah. isn't it? Greenkeepers won't be happy, will they? Greenkeepers will be fuming. This, Chris, so for your first half in the series. Oh! Even a lap of honour for the fans. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'm happy for you, but I'm so disappointed. That was a solid put. Aggressive, confident. Birdie as well. Yeah, birdie. So I think there... Level par, that. I think, I think what's just happened there is we've halved a hole. Oh, no, maybe not. I was... So what's happened there, guys, <laughs> over five holes is we've 40 out... Um, we've had a half here at Huddersfield Golf Club. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Really hope you have enjoyed that. And huge thanks to the guys at Golf Catcher for sponsoring this series. It's just allowing us to kind of travel around, hopefully further afield once things are allowed, meet you guys, play your golf courses and hear your stories. And we're going to get some of this idiot's stories soon as well. So apart from that, guys, check out Chris Dennis Golf for all your short game needs. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't done already. And I'll very much look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye.